Feel your soul and you spell your heart and your mind. Find a God within you, find a light within you. Shout out to my kings and queens, all my gods and goddesses out here. You're now in tune with your higher self. You feel me? J. Will Monitor, the Joe God, one and only, the chosen one. Spiritual game we in the building. You feel me? I'm the woman's side, Tupac of DC, a tomb on my raw. It's my protective. You go against me, you're going to get yourself. And the universe will make you suffer for you going to get yourself. Spiritual game we in the building. Most definitely. Peace to the gods. One God, a tomb. In this video right here, you feel me? I'm going to break it down to you like this. You feel me? I'm going to break it down in a way to show you like how you actually is weak. You feel me? If, if you become spiritually awakening and you know that this path is a lonely path that you got to take first before you meet your true soul family, your soul group and stuff. If you cannot take that path and you know that's the and you know this is a narrow path it's only for the chosen ones and you have been chosen to take this path give up you weak you weak minded you feel me the one thing i know about myself is that i'm strong minded you feel me i was put here to take this path i was put here to be chosen to be the chosen ones within the universe dog you feel me I was put here, I was put here to take this path, I was put here for a fucking reason, a fucking point on purpose, to show people who they are in their higher self, when they in their lower self. I look at it like this, if you looking outside yourself for a savior, if you looking outside yourself for a god, you weak minded, because it's like you trying to find an idol that you can worship. But the real worship is self-worship. You having only a relationship and a bond connection with yourself first. Self-love. Self-dedication. Why are you praying? Why are you getting on your knees? Why are you keep saying God is real? If God created man and woman in his image through the Hermacodite created Michael Knight was male and female that created man first and then created woman for man. But why is you looking outside yourself to, to study who you are? You pretty much telling your own self you don't know who you truly are because you shouldn't look outside yourself to classify yourself as who you are. Because them them look like you gotta understand, religions are cults. They are cults. It's Ill it's illegal. It's illegal to create your own cult. Anybody can be a cult leader. Anybody can come up with some make some make believe ass shit and and have people worship them and believe in them and, and full of lies and a bunch in a bunch of dumb shit. This the world we live in. It's o it, it's open to do that shit. But the one thing I'm telling y'all this is that religions are cults. Ancient Kemet Kemet ain't a cult. It's not a really a religion for real. Religion just a made up word by the Europeans and shit, the colonizers and shit. After they try to reverse our history, after they stole everything from ancient Egypt Kemet and try to transform everything into different um type of um, cults and organizations to keep you dumbed down, to keep your third eye, your third degree brain from opening. So you won't know the, the truth, history, or true identity of the eye horse. But ancient Kemet Kemet is open for anybody. It's not just only for black people. It's for all race of people as a whole. But, you know, but you got to fo follow the 42 laws of my yacht. And you got to study our ways and our language and our ways of living. Being commit is is really is a lifestyle. You feel me? How the way I see it. But I look at it like this, man. Like if you're looking outside yourself to find a God or find a savior, you weak. You weak. Like you weak minded. You was a weak soul. You just a weak individual. You feel me? And I can't have nobody around me like that. I'm so protective over my energy to the point. Once I start t talking to a person and try to elicit a person to know that they are God and know that you you are living inside your own mind, you living inside your own body, 
You are the universe. Everything around you is you. I am you. If you don't believe in that shit, I can't. You, you can't even fucking be around me. You 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 can't, man. You you too weak. You too weak. Give up. You feel me? This what weak people do when they give up. They run to. They run and pray to false indoctrination information and and idols to, to that do not even exist. Just because I can go to ancient Egypt and I can see my ancestors and I can see the hieroglyphs on the walls and on the pyramids and shit, it doesn't mean I'm I, I'm a worship that shit. I why 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 I worship something that is me? Unless it's sacred, I'm sacred energy is changed. That's something totally different. Sex is a form of worship. Okay, that's something totally different. But looking at something and looking at and l looking at something and saying that looking at something or believing in something and saying that it's over top of me is a f it's it's a form of weakness why are you getting on your knees why are you begging why are you saying he is real she is real he is real god is real i see him you talking to a demon them demons that you got to break from. Like I said, when I first started um, thinking that well, I used to be Christian, I used to believe in God. I used to believe Jesus was real, this and that. But Jesus' message is real, but Jesus Christ is not motherfucking real. Because if you can't find his body or if you can't ask for that motherfucking number, an OG master teacher told me, the next time somebody say that Jesus Christ is real or Eli or Jehovah, whoever, or Buddhas, whatever, them gods in the Bible is real, tell them, ask that God for his number. If that God cannot give them that, the number, his number, he's not real because he's, he's not actually, we really do not even exist. This is the holographic universe, but I'm just saying like, you, it's all in your head, dog. It's all in your imagination. You feel me? You you feel me? You in a lucid dream. Not, like you can't like that shit ain't real. You feel me? If you can't, if there's no documentation on the gods or the religion, if there's no documentation on like if I can't find a, a documentation or I can't go somewhere or research something on the internet or in books to show that oh Je Jehovah Je Jehovah body is real Jesus Christ body is real Allah body is real if I can't if if nobody haven't dug up their bodies or dug up any artifacts of these people being real they not motherfucking real you just weak minded you know weak people give up on knowing that they got they look outside they say, for God. You feel me? But they don't know that they are God. You feel me? And the one thing I realize is that um, a lot of women are weak-minded. They believe in a false God. They don't believe they man is they God. They don't believe they man is they king. They will look down on you because they believe this God, this imaginary God is over top of is 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 over top of them and a man. The average woman walking around, she don't know that a man is fucking God. She look, she just look at you as a as a as a partner. You feel me? That's it. As a partner. You feel me? She don't she don't worship you as a as a God. She don't know who the fuck you are truly. And then when you tell her this shit, she ain't gonna believe that shit because it's like so we can't blame it on 400 years of slavery it's so much information and on the internet to show that your man is a god you feel me i don't give a fuck it don't gotta be black he can he can be white spanish or spanish native indian whoever that man man is my man is god man is thought you feel me wow man you can't reproduce him no, 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 no. Wow, man, we produce like women sustain like you. You can't even sustain a child on your own without the man reproducing 
life in you to create life within you to sustain it. You just fertilize what he are. You feel me? But they ain't gonna believe that shit. But you gotta study epigenetics and shit. You gotta study biology. You know, you gotta study that shit to understand the difference between man and woman. But like I said, I ain't trying to say women is under is underneath men. I'm just saying like the average woman walking around don't know that you God, man. I'm speaking up for you. I'm letting. You, I'm I'm trying to get you your powers back. You feel me? I'm trying to give you your powers back. You God, man. You God walking around. Your woman supposed to be your goddess, but how can she be a goddess if she don't accept you for being a god? Because she too weak minded. She gave up on you, dog. She like because because of four hundred years of slavery, lack of knowledge, lack of information. You feel me? So you basically got to beat it, beat the knowledge into her brain. You got to constantly. It's 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 crazy. I ain't trying to say manipulate, but you gotta manipulate the situations. You gotta manipulate them into the real, true information of who they and who you are and what they truly are to you. Or they always gonna look at you as just a man. You more than just a man. You not, you more than just a human. You God. But they but you know you gotta you gotta break them out of that religion shit and know that it's nothing outside of God. It's nothing outside of me and you of being God. We all God together. We all a tune. You feel me? But like I said, man, weak minded people is easy to give up, you know, on a righteous path. It's easy to give up. That's weak minded. Weak minded people easily to give up on the true knowledge or the true information or the or the true stuff on the true path that you got to take to elevate in life weak people is quick to give up it's going to be hard but you but you can't make excuses you can't say oh i can't leave my family behind oh i know i gotta make this i know i gotta make this decision but i can't leave my family you gotta leave everything dog you gotta let everything go dog that's how you enter the kingdom of god that's how you that's how you go to heaven it's all in your mind, dog. You got to let everything go. Every anything there's anybody around you that don't know they tr like bro, any anybody around you, if you know your true information or your true identity and you know what the fuck is going on, bro, and you trying to tell people, teach people what's, what the fuck going on, who they and who we truly are, if they're not listening, bro, like you can't let that shit hold you back. You can't be like, oh, I can't, I can't do this by my. You gotta do it by yourself. It's it's pre, look, it's like, this shit is predestined. To be God is not hard. It's it's it, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, to be God. It is hard. It is hard. Let me take that back. I say this not hard. It's uh, it, it, it's hard. Being God is not an easy path. Knowing your true information is not an easy path. Because once you know that shit, dog, it's like everything around you don't serve any more purpose. And you gotta and you gotta move along. And on the path, you're gonna find your family, your real family. You feel me? But it's it, it's gonna take time right now. Right now we in spiritual warfare. We in spiritual battle. You feel me? It's a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on, distracting the people right now. But peace peace is the only way that's gonna bring war. You feel me? We got to start all over again. You feel me? Everything got to come to an end. For us to come together stronger, everything must come to an end. Because right now, how everything going, nobody can strongly come together is because they don't know that self. They don't know who we truly are. But it's, it's like it's going to be even more worse. But it's, it's going to be even more better because it's like the chosen ones going to be here preserving the knowledge and teaching the, the lost souls who we truly are that's why i keep saying when the blackout happens when the internet happens make sure you preserve the knowledge make sure you preserve the information don't be weak-minded don't give up be um, 
because stuff not going your way, because you don't got a car, because you don't have a woman. You feel me? If you're a woman, you don't have a man. If you um, you feel me? Um, you don't feel like you are attracted enough. If you're a woman, you feel me? Like oh man, like um, you don't got a nice job. You know, you don't got a career job. You're not making six figures. You feel me, man? You don't, you don't got apartment. You don't, man, you don't need none of that shit, bro. Planet Earth is your home, as a whole. Planet Earth is your home. You don't need nothing else but yourself. It's no price tag on your happiness. It's no price tag on your soul. Just take a step back and look at everything around you. Don't look at social social media is like the most biggest distraction because it gets you caught up in your desires. It gets you caught up in your lower self. You see everybody else on camera happy. Behind the camera, none of these people are happy. You feel me? I televise my life on my YouTube. I let everybody know um, on camera or behind the camera what life is all about. Like what my life is. You feel me? I don't have no friends. I don't got no homies. I'm fine being alone. Like you feel me? I'm fine being alone. I love it. You feel me? Because I don't got time to keep wasting my energy giving it to people that don't serve God purpose. No, don't serve their true purpose. I don't got time for that shit. I I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm open to have people around me, but I don't got time for people that's in a in a lower self. I don't got time to, for people that still I'm um, dealing on um, battling with the you know ba you know um showing me that they demons and shit. I don't got time for that shit. You know. Like, like any motherfucker to start looking outside they stuff for God and start saying that they not God and shit. Get the fuck away from me. You, you a disease. You a parasite. You a demon. I don't give like get away from me. I don't. I don't want you around me. I don't. I, I really don't want you around me. You feel me? I really don't. Cause you in a hell mindset, dog. You too weak. You. You weak minded. You quick to give up. You. You quick to give up. God created man and woman in his image. In the same way how we reproduce life and sustain life is no different than what God was doing before he created us. So if God created and designed of us and designed us in the same way he was designed, what are you? Common sense would tell you, oh yeah, I'm God too. What the fuck? Like we walking around, we don't even we walk around thinking that we not God. Like this shit is this shit is crazy, dog. That's why I gotta get out this world. I, like this world is fake. It's like I gotta get out this shit. You feel me? But I just gotta keep having that mentality that this shit ain't real. This shit is a holograph. It's a hologram. This shit is not real. And by me saying this shit, you know, it might scare people around me and put people in fear. But people fear the truth within themselves. You feel me? I'm. I'm conf conflicting um, the faking people. You know, I'm making I'm making a motherfucker uncomfortable. So that's why a motherfucker quick to give up and be and be weak minded and be in a lower self and start showing them and start showing me they demons because when the truth hit them so hard and they not prepared for it, they quick to show they demons. They quick to Point the fingers, the kick, the, like you feel me. That's what people like that. I just, I can't have them around me. You feel me? It's like if you don't catch on to it, or trying to catch on to it, or trying to learn, I can fuck with you. But if you if you're not trying to catch on to it, and you're not trying to learn, and you're not trying to under, understand what is happening, you know, at the moment of time, or what you need to do to protect yourself in spiritual warfare or spiritual battle. You know, cause we in a battle, which you can't, you, you you can't even see that shit. That shit is is so spiritual. You can't you can't even see that shit. Like you just looking at what you like 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 you living in a moment, nigga. You supposed to be focused on the future, nigga. We in the future. Determine how you living now. Determine how you gonna be living ten years, fifteen years from now. You know, don't like 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 you focus on what you don't have. You feel me? You focus on what you don't have, and you focus on what. This imaginary person in your mind, out of out of out of a book, this idol can bring to you in life. He he's not that he or she, whatever that idol you praying to, it ain't gonna bring you nothing but pure fucking hell. 
You wasting your time. You sitting back waiting for a motherfucker to come save you out of a fucking book. In your own fucking mind. <laughs> what the fuck? But anyway, though, peace and love, family. I am, I'm out. Gang, I love myself. Peace to the gods.